Just a normal day at work. Ooh, look at me. I'm wearing a fancy suit now. Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here, next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. <laughs> He's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Intense. The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Mm. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Are they all dressed like movie stars? <laughs> well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys <laughs> may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. Uh, if it's all right with That's you, sir. That's an order, Phelps. Ooh. Shh, shh, quiet, everybody. <laughs> Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. You really gave it to those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I've partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm going to start you out with one case. You do okay? I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousting vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the PE Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. Yeah, I want to make homicide. So it looks like we're working on you know, some traffic stuff today. To ah. I kind of feel like this is a schoolyard or something. People have their cliques. Actually, it just seems like people don't like me that much because I'm a war hero. You're wasting time. Get out of here. Okay, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, Susie, you are so bad. They really pushed you through quick, didn't they? Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. Hmm. Being decisive. People seem to no, think I'm too much I'm of a goody sure. two shoes. Ugh. Hopefully that's just good natured ribbing and whatever, and if we solve some cases, everyone will be happy. Yeah. I don't know if people might be jealous or whatever though, because you know, getting promoted fast and whatever. Whoa, these people left right when I came. What's going on here? Ooh. I think my partner just went to the car, but hey, we can look hey, around. You think those vice boys get any on the side? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Do I think those vice boys get it on the side? <laughs> I feel like if you want to fit in, you would probably have to be a bit seedier. Cole is pretty... He feels pretty like a... I don't know, he feels very like a goody two shoes. Technical services. Hey, who are you? Technical services. Oil, Evidence? Hi. Gotta have it. Baby oil come from? I don't think there's actually too much around here that we're... Oh, maybe we can just go to the... Yeah, look for that suspicious vehicle. I thought traffic would be like... I don't know. <laughs> standing at a crossroad trying to direct... Hey, the pedestrians can walk now. Okay, now the cars can walk. But nope, nope, Someone thankfully. Tell us what the hell is going we're on actually doing some investigating here. Say all's fair in love and war. Okay, he's probably... Ooh, what's this? Roll of Honor. Central what Station Police Department. Hope I can be on there someday. What the heck? Do I just want to get promoted for the sake of promoting? Or is it something like... Oh, it's because I want a lot of money. Mouthpiece torch strips off me at the grand jury. Case was thrown out. 
No, no jewelry. Phelps, there's a crime happening somewhere. Go find it. Oh, okay. Jeez. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. Is that, is that our car? Yeah, it is. He's in there already. I was wondering though, is it possible for us to drive other cars? Probably, but he's in this one already, so whatever. Wow! You know this place? Sure. Near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse district. I'll direct. Okay, sounds good. All units, so 459 just occurred at 6th and Saras. Any unit to handle, code so, to identify. So, tell me a little about yourself, Phelps. Are we friends now, Bukowski? We have to work together, don't be so touchy. I grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. I went to college at Stanford. Did two years ROTC before Marine OCS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45 as a first lieutenant. Fought in the Okinawa campaign. I was wounded, shipped back home, did a year on the beat, now I'm here. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. No, you were up there all night, draped in the flag, knife between your teeth, gun at the ready. You finished? The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part, Bukowski. What did you do? I kept the streets of L.A. safe for the people. Yeah. Now I get it. Unfit for service. No, oh, fuck you, Phelps. I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda riots. Mm. Sounds like you had it rough. I did my job. No one is saying you didn't. I did six years as a patrolman. That's the third time you've told me. Ooh, getting into a little bit of a rift already. Now earlier, the dispatch call thing, I pressed on it, and it added a additional icon onto my map. So should we be going there first? Where is it? Here. Oh, it's actually pretty close to my... the place we're supposed to go to anyway. Where are we right now? Quite a bit a ways. Okay, cool. I don't have to be afraid, I can still speed a little bit. Awesome. Cole sounds like he's... Even though he won the Silver Star or whatever, he sounds pretty ashamed about it. Not ashamed, but maybe he just doesn't want to talk about it? Guys? Guys! Yes, watch your- No, I think we're making a- We're making a left here. Sorry! Straight on. Alright, sound good. Yeah. Fast and furious. Now- Oh, look at this clear road. We can just go speeding straight ahead. Oh, God. Like I said, as long as we don't kill anybody, it's fine. It's fine. And even if we do, if you kill someone in the middle of a forest and they don't make a sound, it didn't actually happen, you know? So it's okay. It's all good. Take the next right. This right? This is not a right. This is just a random. <laughs> oh, God, it doesn't go through. Are you kidding me. We even got a nicer car now. It's not like a typical police car anymore. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah! Yeah, we might get there quicker if you use a siren. Oh, hey, that's a that's a great idea. All units, so 459 just occurred at Sixth and Saras. Any unit to handle code two, identify. I think I did 11K, that. Go ahead, KGPL. 11K, a 459 suspect just left Sixth and Saras. Suspect is a. Up on the roof, officer. He has a mask on his face. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful. I saw him waving a gun. Ooh. Masked gunman. <laughs> that guy looks like a cowboy. Like a traditional cowboy, the ones you see in movies. He has a gun, though, so we have permission to shoot, right? Give it up now. Make it easy on yourself. Get the hell away from me. We should probably just shoot from the roof here. It's right there. Whoa, 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 whoa! We can shoot, can't we? Oh, he clipped through the wall. Oh, shit. Oh, it wasn't even the same guy. No! That guy was running, so I thought it was him. But looking on the map, I think he actually made a left. Oh, no. Whoa, I gotta keep my eye on the right guy here. What if I just randomly shoot the wrong civilian? 
Oh, we're so close this time. Come on. Oh! Nope. He was way too close for me to, to shoot well. I shot somebody's car. I don't know if that's going to be a thing. Hurry. You can still catch him. I shouldn't be randomly firing in the middle of a city, though, because that's so much more dangerous. I might accidentally get somebody. And that's okay this time, right? Because he shot at me, so I should be able to shoot back. Maybe I could have caught him. No, I don't think so, because he was shooting at me. It's too hard to get close to him. Well, we did it. One out of 40. Uh, I'm not really going to try to go out of my way to do them, but if we come across them, sure. Let's do it. Let's go, dude. We got, uh, we got to go to the actual place that we're supposed to be going to. Instead of solving random crimes here. Yeah. Right. Oh, this is not a road. That's okay. I make the rules here, so it's fine. I think we're going to a depot, if I remember what the... The guy said earlier, the captain guy. So, this looks kind of... It's starting to look kind of depot-y here. <laughs> Sure, yeah. It's got a park. Freight Depot, 11.30. That you, Bukowski? Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and... We'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. <laughs> good to see you guys on good terms here. Look at that. Our fancy, non-labeled car. Climbing up the corporate ladder here. Although, it feels like... You know that guy that we saw earlier, the movie star guy? He seems to be pretty high up there, right? So I feel like, intrinsically... I'm Officer Hart. Phelps. Traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Oh. Someone's copped the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. I feel like intrinsically there's a correlation between willing to or uh, willingness to take bribery and being corrupt with here, rising in the ranks. So seeing as how Cole is kind of a upright person, I wonder how that's going to affect how everything is going to go. By the way, what is a stiff? By the way he said it, I was thinking he meant corpse, but then this guy called himself a stiff too, and he's obviously not a corpse. Oh my god, I'm just like not in with a lingo here. How's the world looking? Is that the the coroner? Oh, always the same the scene is a mess. Could have been a dozen different crimes committed down here with all the I've bows hopping freights. Waiting at the lab. Uh, we can use I to use intuition. Should we try Likewise. it out anyway, or I mean, I guess we could try it out just to try it out. How many points do we have again? Oh uh, yeah, intuition points can be used to highlight undiscovered clues. We have. We only have two points right now. Let's wait a little bit. I'm not sure. Oh, I think somebody mentioned that if it says show all clues on the notebook here, it means that there's still some clues left. But if it's grayed out, it means that we got everything. So that's one way that we can use for identifying this. Doc, Detective Phelps, what have we got? 
lot of blood for a blunt force injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. Did you check? Mm, no corpse here. Maybe if... No. I think it's kind of, um... I'm not sure how to feel about this... Like, Cole identifying that objects are not related to the investigation right as he picks it up. Because this is supposed to be a detective game that makes you think about, hey, who's the murderer, blah blah blah, right? But then how is he able to, like, just pick something up and know Mr. that it's not related? S. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday? Oh. It just feels like whenever Cole... Okay, he picks up a bottle. Oh, uh, it's not related. Fine. But then that crowbar, it's in the trunk of the car. How can you tell that it's not related right off the bat? victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. Could the blood be pig blood? I feel like if he were bleeding, then there would be blood on the handle doors and maybe like around the area here. But uh, since we don't really see that, it might be pig blood. Is that all we got here? something here. Hey, thanks. Thanks, Beat Cops, for identifying the stuff of interest for me. The brand name might give us something to go on. A pipe with a valve and blood? Let me through. Hey, you guys. Look is all. You guys, take your time. No freight rolling through here till we're done. And we're still punching the clock. <laughs> okay. Ah, train hey, depot. Blackfoot. You're looking to get rid of that old crate? I'll give you a nickel for it. <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about, man. <laughs> oh, something here as well. Wallet? Adrian Black. 32 years old, married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? Operator's license. So, is he a train operator? There's actually a lot of information here. Signature, general, weight, sex, height, color of eyes, fingerprint. Holy crap. Hmm. Happier times, I guess. This is such an unnatural photo. It's like someone just put two models of the people in front of each other and they're like, hey, just take a screenshot of this, okay? They're not interacting at all. Mm. Stenzel glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. Broken glasses? Okay. Huh. I did end up turning on the... Um, yeah, the whole... If you find all the clues, turn off the music thing. And I don't hear music anymore. We can check here. Yeah, it's grayed out now. Cool. Let's... Try talking to our partner, maybe? Help me out. Have a word with the witness. It's not often we get eyeballs in a case like this. So you must be an actual train depot worker, right? You look dressed for the part. Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. A strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Makes sense. Reporting witness at crime scene. Let's check out what evidence we have first. Oh, he looks nervous. Eh, he could just be scared. How long are you gonna keep me here, sir? Hey, why don't you be more like that guy? He doesn't want to work. Do you want to work? Abandoned vehicle. Blood splashes. 
Live hog. No, there's no hog corpse either. Pipe, wallet, glasses. All right. Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. He seems like he's not supposed to be lying, but it really depends on what kind of person he is, right? Because if he's a really, really good liar, then this might just be a poker face. I don't see anything suspicious about this, though. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. No, he's not darting around. <laughs> you ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars that park here regular, so it kind of stood out. Uh, so off the top of my head, I feel like right now, reading the faces isn't crazy difficult. Oh, But then, like, we have to keep in mind that we're not just reading people's faces to find out if they're guilty or not. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. He seems same as usual. Okay, I'll take it. When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Looked dry already. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? <laughs> <laughs> Me God. Okay, wait, what? Did I get the no, oh, I thought I got a um, not check mark there. Uh Well, if he took something, it must be from the wallet, right? Maybe the money? I don't know, I guess. Tell the truth, Mr. Wilkie. You rifled the wallet. My money is my money. You can't prove I touched that wallet. I don't think I can, actually. <laughs> I don't have proof that he touched it. Oh. Am I- am I meant to be backing out here? I don't have proof, no. Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. <laughs> Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was uh -huh. gonna steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. We'll contact your employer if we need anything more from you. If you have to, I guess. Now, I can't really spend no more time over this. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. You're done here. We'll head over there now. All right, sounds good. We're going to notify the wife. You seem to have it under control here. Yeah, I got this. Am I the only one who thinks this? But uh, it sounds like the audio is a little strange sometimes. The sound design, I guess? It sounds like it doesn't come from the location that we're in right now. Not that it's a huge thing, but whatever. Okay, do you, do you want to drive this time? You're behind the wheel. All right, where to? Go to their house. Okay, I'll take turns. Sometimes I'll let him drive, sometimes I'll drive. Partner driving will skip to your destination. Good time saver. Wow, that investigation only took five minutes. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm not good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. Uh, oh, she's right there. I can see her. Mm, do we want to look around her house first? 
Yeah, what is that? Doesn't look like anything. <laughs> All right, thanks for letting me know. Seems like a pretty typical looking house. Where are you going, Phelps? This is the place. I'm just looking around. No use leaving the thing half finished. Oh. Oh, like, do you want me to insta heat? Isn't that the brand on the pipe? Oh, I'm fixing this. Okay. Uh, maybe like, like here. Uh. Thank God for color coding. Ah! So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. That's weird, but why would someone bring... Uh... Hmm. Do we know he's dead? We haven't even found the body yet, so maybe we shouldn't... Yeah, maybe we shouldn't think that far. Flowers. No. Just check out their backyard before we go in. Because we can. Hey, these people seem pretty rich. They have a... They have a pretty sizable backyard here. Can we actually go in through this door? It's gold-handled. No one's coming. Oh, maybe we gotta go back to the front. What? You mean it's not right to appear in people's backyards? What do you mean? I see you, lady. Just a minute. You heard me earlier. I know you did. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. We can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. May we look around your home first, Mrs. Black? We're gonna have a look around, then we'll talk. Alienist Fontaine provides help to troubled vets. Mentally crippled soldiers find relief in clinical treatment. Or maybe Cole has some mental troubles too. Maybe that's why he doesn't want to talk about the war. Lie down. Make yourself comfortable. So, you're a friend of Courtney's. Yes, doctor. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. Ah. Uh. This guy looks like he has ulterior motives. I want to take you on a journey. A journey back. I want you to remember the good things about your past. Occasions that made you laugh. Times that made you smile. Provides help. What kind of help? Oh. Two out of thirteen. Here? Cavanaugh's. So who brought this home? Ooh. Oh, can I further investigate on that? Husband is a smoker, I guess? Maybe Adrian was a patron. R and I should have an address. Records and investigation. 
Contact... <laughs> I didn't even finish reading it yet. Find a phone to call for address. Oh, that's a phone. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thanks, ma'am. Yeah, they don't have internet and Google back in the day. Hey, that's actually pretty cool. You can just do that, pick up the phone, and then there's an operator there. In a regular person's home, I mean. Like, yeah, that's... Is that just the... the newspaper, or...? Oh, it's the same brand. Again. Yeah, I guess this guy must go to the bar really often, then? He has so many of them lying around here. Oh, come on, we can't read the note on the fridge? And that goes out back, which we have already been out to. Nothing here. Oh. This doesn't pertain to the case. How would you know that? Oh, insta heat. This was only recently installed, not two days ago. And someone took it apart? That's... That's weird. Oh, 82 bucks. Expensive. More expensive than the pearl earrings. Insta-heat. The new automatic glass line gas water heater. New. Greater heating efficiency cuts your hot water costs. New. Triple inspection means trouble free, op free operation. New! Easier installation with all connections in rear. 20 gallon tank. For two people? That's huge. Have hot water 24 hours a day. Heat seal glass wool insulation keeps water hot longer. Quick heat slotted burner procedures. Oh, produces hotter flame. No popping or flashbacks. Fast miser instant acting auto dial Temperature control. Yeah, I know some of what those words mean. 10-year <laughs> guarantee. If it fails in five years, you'll get a new one. If it fails again, we'll get you a new one, crediting you with the unexpired portion of the guarantee. Is there actually relevant information here? We have the piping. I wonder if someone in the house bought this unit, knowing how they would use the parts. But why would someone buy an entire heater just to use the pipe? Just to use the pipe? That seems... Like 82 bucks versus just buying a pipe. Which is probably not 82 bucks. Oh, but if the pipe is from here... Hmm. Well, we'll have to see. Maybe the guy did something himself. That again? Glasses case? This must be Adrian's. Stenzel. So the glasses are a match. Okay. His glasses? It's a picture of the dude. Oh! To my Adrian. To my Adrian. This thing gets more and more interesting. Love sick and lonely without you. Hurry back, my darling, Nicole. Oh. The wife's name is not Nicole, right? It's Margaret. Oh, it's not looking good. Uh-oh. 
Wow, how daring though, they just put this photo here? It's not like that hidden message was even hard to find. Used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. Did he fake his death so that he could leave to another place? Is that it? But why would he leave the ticket here? Or is that just a receipt? Oh. Alright. Separate bedrooms, separate pictures. What gives here? Oh! Oh, I thought that might have been like a guest room or something. They're sleeping in separate beds and rooms? That does make it a bit more... Yeah, maybe she knew about the affair already. Is that all we got here? Can we check? We can look around here. Adrian was into planes. Hey, Cole's not saying it's useless. Is that relevant? Doesn't give me anything to go on. Yeah, the plane. The plane didn't say anything. I feel like we probably could have done something. Let me look around first. Back to the plane. Oh, what? <laughs> Not much help. No, but what about the plane? There's not really much to look at here, though. But he's really not saying anything. What? How about we look at the... No, it's grayed out. It's grayed out. Okay. Guess we can talk to her now. Hey, can you just settle down? You're making me nervous. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Poor Adrian! Do you think you could answer some questions now, Mrs. Black? Of course. However I can help. <laughs> sentence to sentence. Yeah, sometimes the facial expressions are not... <laughs> mm, she doesn't look like the type that would kill her husband, though. But we don't know. We don't know yet. Are you trying to find my husband? Yes. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. Doesn't seem like a lie, and she gave us information willingly. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I've told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. Hmm. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? <gasps> You're not accusing me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course. Waiting for Adrian to come home. She seems honest enough. If she didn't kill him though, it's kind of insensitive- Ooh? What was that? It it's kind of insensitive to be like, Hey, we think your husband might be injured or dead. And by the way, we think you killed him. <laughs> uh, is there a place where I can see where she just- Like, what she just said? Because sometimes when I talk here, I kind of forget what they say. I think I saw a log here. Oh, it's just escape. Okay, cool. 
Your husband's missing? You're not accusing me, are you? What an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. I don't feel like we have information that goes against that. We would have to have something that had a date on it. Like a receipt, maybe? A receipt at the bar? But we don't have anything like that. Okay. Sh sure. Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited, but he never came home. Hmm. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar. How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. Sounds like a sign of a, a crumbling marriage, along with the whole Nicole thing. When she looks away, it kind of looks like she's lying, but it might just be because there's a... What is it? I read something about how in North America, you typically hold eye contact for like, what is it? Three to four seconds? So it's not necessarily suspicious. No. Especially because we don't have any information that goes against that. So Adrian spends a lot of time there. Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. With Nicole? Uh, this might be a good time to talk about that, huh? We'll go in order. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was gonna meet Frank for a drink. You know, same expressions as usual. So nothing out of the usual then? Well... He came home early from work, but he never comes home early. And he went out early, too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. Sounds like a sad marriage. The wife is just at home waiting for the husband all day long. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. He bought a new pair? I thought these glasses were broken. Broken and repaired. Found near an abandoned vehicle. She's making the same... I, I can't tell. Sometimes, what if you think she's suspicious, so she looks suspicious to you? <laughs> uh, she looks kind of nervous. That's a lie, Margaret. You know exactly what Perry was wearing because you were there. You're being flat out ridiculous now. Why don't you show me some proof of where I was supposed to be? We don't have... <laughs> Are you accusing her of killing her husband? We don't have proof of that at all. No, my god. Cole, you're being very insensitive here. I feel like it's weird because... She said he got a new pair, but this is obviously not a new pair. But... Uh... Should I be doubting this, maybe? If you don't ask, you never find out. <laughs> so you disposed of the new pair after you killed your husband. You made what? a mistake in leaving the old pair behind. I never did! What? How can you be so heartless, throwing around accusations at a time like this? No! Oh, she was just telling the truth! But then what's the deal with the glasses? What? Oh man. We still got four right, so whatever. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. But I guess you know that. I've told you what I know about the picture. She's right. He is kind of... It's one thing to want to investigate and find out the truth. But I feel like, especially if there's suspicion that someone's dead, maybe you should be a little bit more sensitive here. What about Nicole, Mrs. Black? Was your husband going to leave you for her? 
I've seen the photo frame. <laughs> he thinks I'm stupid. But women sense these things. I don't know if he intended to leave me or if it was just a fling. God only knows. I only want to know that he's safe. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Please do, Detective. Oh, well, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, all things considered. Five out of six? Dude, this interrogation is so stressful. But we're making through it okay so far, it seems. Will you be okay, miss? Find Adrian, officer. Bring him home, please. Oh, do you really want him home? A man like that? Just divorce him. Oh, but you know, we're probably in the era where divorcing him is not socially acceptable or whatever. Hey, what are you looking at? This cop's just next to us for no reason. Uh, I'm driving. I'm driving. Let's drive. Oh, I can't get in because they're in the... That car is in the way. That's the guy from the papers. Solved that big case. Yeah, heard of me before. Oh, I'm driving. That's right. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, where are we? Ooh. Ooh. Do we want to go there? Central police station? Damn it, I should have made him drive. Um, how do I put it on the map? Do I just click on it? Clear the street crime from the mini-map? No, no, wait. Hidden vehicle? Hidden- I don't care about the vehicles. Whatever. Was that the one we did earlier? Duh, I'll just start driving and see where the mini-map takes me. Jesus, I'm glad to be out of there. Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest home life. He's too scared to divorce her and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem the type. But stranger things have happened. Yeah. She... I felt like we were being really emotionally not considering her at all. Oh my god. Okay, this one? It seems like we didn't have to answer any dispatch calls. Yeah, we'll, we'll go there anyway. Oh my god! I'm gonna Oh, oh my god, I'm working up a good sweat here. <laughs> I'm sweating over this. No, 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 no. Excuse me, excuse me. Yes. Yes, that's what I've been missing here. Everyone, get out of my way. I gotta solve a street crime here. How far away are we? Right turn. Okay. This is 11K, go ahead with the further. 11K, your 211 is at Angel's Flight, 3rd and Hill Street. 11K, code 3. We can do this. We can do Angel's this. Angel's Flight. Probably some tourist flashing too much cash. Yes! <laughs> shoo shoo what bandits. What took you so long? They're getting away. What happened here, sir? They, they had guns. Dirty louses took everything and then booked. They went that way, the, the, the stairs alongside the track. This guy's not bleeding at all. <laughs> okay. A landmark, Angel's Flight. The stairs? You look like a rat with a gold tooth wearing a watch like this. LAPD! Oh! He's gonna run to the dark. Stop it, Phelps. Uh, do we wanna shoot? Oh, Whoa, shit! <laughs> Oh, he shot me too. No! Oh! Dude, why are the street crimes so hard? <laughs> Alright, can I just like shoot them right here? He's holding a gun for sure. Stay down. We probably didn't have to kill everyone. <laughs> Car 11K, shots fired. 
The suspect is down at 3rd and Hill. It's code 4 here, but I need an ambulance. 11K, Roger on the ambulance. All units, the shooting at 3rd and Hill Street is code 4. Code 4. Code 4. I don't want to kill them, but I feel like if they have a gun, then that just that's just really hard for me to not kill him. Hey, can you drive this time? I drove here, so... What are you doing, dude? Giving flowers to your girlfriend or something? You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Yeah, that's exactly what I need to do. There's a soap drama on the radio. About a husband leaving the wife. Hey, I know you. No, you don't. That cherry pie was the... We were at school together. Uh, how about you buy me a drink? For, for old time's sake. Yeah, sure we were at school together. <laughs> Do you actually want a drink, though? Tell the cook these I mean, I got a promotion, so I might be kind of rich right now. You looking for someone? One heck of a Sunday. You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's a regular. He's a loner in the back. Do we want to investigate this place at all? I got a call back for that universal chorus line. Boy, that's Frank Morgan. Better day. Who's asking? Oh, I don't think there's anything to investigate here. This guy's checking us out, though. What are you looking at? Go do your work. Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. This guy seems like a liar. This is the guy who's on the receipt of that live hog buying, the purchase. We found Black's car abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no, uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian, he, he's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk off, Phelps. <laughs> you're lying, Morgan, you were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? I can prove it. You were there, Morgan. We found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you on it. All right already. That fool Adrian's fallen for some dame in Seattle. He, he wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. And you left the receipt in the trunk? Great job. Where exactly is Black holed up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. <laughs> He's definitely lying, but um, my understanding is that we need to, like, if we have the evidence, we say lie. If we don't, we say doubt. Where is Adrian Black? If we knew, we wouldn't be here. Maybe the train ticket? What did he say again? I think he took off for Seattle. But no, the, the ticket is still here, so he hasn't used it yet. So he's not in Seattle. Lies, lies, and more lies, Morgan. You know where he is. What have you got that says I know where he is? It doesn't say that he knows where he is, but it says that he knows he's not in Seattle. But actually, he doesn't know about this ticket. Am I too aggressive here? I may be, but let's go for it. Hmm? Well, that's it for me, gentlemen. Over and out. Hmm. That's okay. We got a third question. So Adrian isn't hurt? What's with all the blood? I don't know. It was dark. He must have caught a nick on something. Yeah. <laughs> He's not really giving me much information to go off of. <laughs> Help me, God! Every time I look at their expression for too long, I completely forgot what they say. What's with the blood? We already used the receipt for the live hog, though. Haven't we? Yeah. yeah. We have you for aiding and abetting a criminal conspiracy. 
You want me to come up with some other charges, Morgan? <sighs> we bought a small hog and put it in the trunk. We got to the rail yard. I cut the pig's throat and drained the blood into a bucket. Splashed the blood all around the car. Adrian hit the pig a couple of times with the pipe to make the pipe look convincing. This doesn't add up, Morgan. Your excuses don't help. Let's see how you enjoy the LAPD taking an interest in your life. You want my opinion? We tell Morgan. I say he's lying, and whatever hole he's got Adrian stashed in, he's got to go back there sometime. Okay, that works. Let's go. He sure left his drink in a hurry. The icon will flash if you're tailing too closely. Don't drive recklessly. Don't attract attention. I bet he wishes he'd rehearsed that story better now. It's okay, I'm good at this. I've done it in Sleeping Dogs before. 5,000 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I can see him. I have visibility on him, so we don't need to be too close. In Sleeping Dogs, if you actually cross red lights, that counts as suspicious behavior, but here, it seems like that's okay. So it's even easier, as long as we don't hit anybody. Oh, maybe it would have been different if I got the location from the dude earlier. Excuse me, dude! You've got a pretty funny idea of what keeping a low profile means, Phelps. Oh my god, that car was in the way. Okay. Why does every car around here look the same? Wait. He's gone, he's gone! Shoot! Oh my god. Sorry! We're getting, we're getting him, we're getting him. I got distracted by the, the light. <laughs> it's that car right there, right? Where yeah. Where are you taking us, Mr. Morgan? Too close, Phelps. You're way too close. Well, let's check the place out. Come on. Okay. Wow. Day one uh... of the big time, and you're already tailing drunks home from bars. You having fun yet? I told you it was non-stop glamour work in traffic, didn't I? I'm just trying to learn. Oh, come on, Phelps. Save the creepy teacher's pet stuff for Leary. Won't work on me. Second. Let's go. Apartment two. All right. Let's pay our friend a visit. See if he's missed us yet. Two? This one? Do we want to have our guns out ready, just in case? Who the hell is that? Will you relax? Jesus, Adrian, I told you, we're in the clear. I'll get it. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. It's over, Morgan. Mr. Black? LAPD, give yourself up now! <laughs> I knew it! Phelps, well, go after him. I'll try here. to head him off in the car. Remember, the gun is the last resort. Gun is the last resort, okay. There's no point running, Adrian. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Okay, we can follow him. Um, yeah, we really Mr. shouldn't Black, be... Get back here right now! We really shouldn't be shooting him, because he hasn't committed a murder or anything, okay? Stop right there, Adrian! It's over, Adrian! Thanks, partner. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? 
I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're gonna lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. What part about what he did was illegal? Abandoning a vehicle? That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up, and you learn from Bukowski here, and you could go a long way in this department. Thanks, Captain. Hey, we missed the clue! Oh, where do we miss it? I don't know. Oh my god, vehicle damage, city damage. Frank Morgan would have rolled over on Adrian Black with some tougher questioning. The second question, I messed that one up. So it seems like there might be some deviation then, because if we got the location directly from him, then maybe we wouldn't have to tail him to find the place. Okay, well, you know, we got the guy, so good enough. Good enough. I got a distinguished stamp anyway. We're fine. Woo!